Donald Trump is really confused about the issue of health care. So let's watch and you see if you can decipher his point. Mr. Trump. Yes. In the Democratic primary, Hillary Clinton has criticized Bernie Sanders' plan for single-payer government health care, noting it would require big, across-the-board tax increases for Americans. In doing so, she's doubling down on Obamacare, despite its persistent unpopularity. Mr. Trump, you have said you want to repeal Obamacare. You've also said, quote, everybody's got to be covered, adding, quote, the government's going to pay for it. Are you closer to Bernie Sanders' vision for health care than Hillary Clinton is? I don't Clinton think is? I am. I think I'm closer to common sense. Uh, we are going to repeal Obamacare. We are going to repeal Obamacare. We are going to replace Obamacare with something so much better. And there are so many examples of it. And I will tell you, part of the reason we have some people laughing because you have insurance people that take care of everybody up here. I'm a self-funder. The only one they're not taking care of is me. We have our lines around each state. The insurance companies are getting rich on Obamacare. The insurance companies are getting rich on health care and health services and everything having to do with health. We're going to end that. We're going to take out the artificial boundaries, the artificial lines. We're going to get a plan where people compete. Free enterprise, they compete. So much better. In addition, in addition to that, in addition to that, you have the health care savings plans, which are excellent. What I do say is there will be a certain number of people that will be on the street dying. And as a Republican, I don't want that to happen. We're going to take care of people that are dying on the street because there will be a group of people that are not going to be able to even think in terms of private or anything else. And we're going to take care of those people. And I think everybody on this stage would have to agree, you're not going to let people die sitting in the middle of a street in any city in this country. Okay, so what he's doing right there is he's saying two opposite things at the exact same time. Uh, the quotes that Mar Mary Catherine Ham gave out there are quotes where he quite literally advocated for single payer, whether or not he realizes it. But what he's describing is without question single payer, which would make him in the exact same position as Bernie on this. So... She's quoting him and things he said in the past, and they come back to him and he's like, that's right, it's common sense. So then your the, the logical deduction from that is, oh, okay, so then you agree with what you said then when you were advocating for single payer, which means you're in favor of single payer. But then he goes on to say, repeal Obamacare and then replace it with, take out the artificial lines, so meaning uh, allow people to buy health insurance across state borders. It's this hack right-wing idea that'll just make it so that all the health insurance companies go to one state where they pay the least amount of taxes, and it doesn't help you in any way, shape, or form as a consumer. But he uh, advocates for that, and then he says, free enterprise. Free enterprise. Okay, but Donald, that is the polar opposite of what you just said about single payer and what you just called common sense. You want to go back to a free enterprise system? Okay, we go right back to the system that we had. By the way, we still have a free enterprise system under Obamacare. It just mandates people go to the private health insurance companies and buy insurance. But if you want to go back to an even more free enterprise system, then you're just saying, let's go back to what we had pre-Obamacare. And that system was the problem. That was the problem. I mean, we had and have 45,000 people that die every year because they don't have access to basic health care in America. And you're proposing that as some kind of a solution? But that's the thing. Notice, he's saying both things at the same time. He's saying, yeah, we're not going to let people die in the street. What are you, fucking crazy? Yeah, having the government pick up the tab is common sense. Okay, that's single payer. And then he also says, free enterprise, right-wing things, that. Okay, that's saying two things at the same time. Now, in a world where logic mattered and where contradictions were relevant, this is where Republican voters would go, yeah, okay, that makes no sense. <laughs> but... It just so happens that when you're talking about that group of voters, they're not good at spotting contradictions. So what they do is they read into Trump whatever the fuck they want to read into Trump. They project onto him because he says everything at the same time. So there are going to be some people out there that are, you know, true right-wingers, even on the issue of health care, and they think free enterprise solves everything. And they'll go, see, Trump said it, free enterprise, man. And then there are going to be other people who... Love government health care, even if they don't know it, where they hold up signs that say, keep your government hands off my Medicaid or Medicare, even though that's government. And they're going to say, 
Up, oh, see, he said we can't let people die in the street. That's the way to go right there. So he's saying everything at the same time, and, you know, low-information voters will just project onto him what they want to hear, and that partially explains why he's doing so well in the polls. Because it's not just with this issue, it's with virtually every other issue, too. On foreign policy, he says, yeah, we should stay out of Syria. Let Vladimir Putin handle ISIS if he wants. Let him waste his money doing it. That's a non-interventionist position. That's something that means, hey, let's not get our people killed. Liberals can get behind that. <laughs> But then he'll turn around the next week and say, well, not only should we bomb ISIS, we should bomb the families of ISIS. We should torture, quote, even if it doesn't work. So he goes from a far left position to a far right position. And then what do you do as a voter? Again, in a world that made sense, you go, this guy doesn't know whether he's coming or going. He's just confused. He doesn't have real convictions and policy positions. But for Republican voters, they go, I'm going to hear only the things I want to hear. And this is one of the main reasons why he's winning in a landslide in the polls nationally.